What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to talk about the best portrait settings for your Nikon D3100. I want to say major thanks to Rose for coming out. Hey guys, my name is Rose. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram and you both will have a great day. I'm just going to go through some portrait settings with the Nikon D3100 and I'll just kind of walk through about what settings is really good for each situation and what lenses you should use. For portraits right now i have the nikon 35 millimeter 1.8 ggx on the d3100 and here we go so right when i'm beginning to shoot i usually check out my composition first and i also make sure that the lighting is correct as you saw me look into the camera, I was actually looking at the exposure meter. So if you're looking through the viewfinder and the arrow on the bottom is going all the way to the right, that means the image is going to be underexposed. And if you go all the way to the left where the plus is, that means the image is going to be overexposed. So what you really want to do is you want to aim your image to be right in the middle. You can either have your image underexposed or overexposed. I always try to shoot for underexposed because I don't really want to overexpose the subject that I'm photographing. So for example, if it's this model, I always want to photograph it underexposed because I don't want to overexpose the model's face or model's outfit. Here I'm just switching it up the composition. Um, I feel like it's really important to just switch around with your composition, especially with the 35 millimeter 1.8G DX. You can get pretty close to the model and kind of just play around with your composition. And I really like the 35 1.8G for that. And here Rose is an amazing model. She already knows what she's doing and she's just killing these poses. I really love how this lens performs. For the price of the lens, it is such a good bang for the buck. And then now I'm going to move on to the 51.8. So the 50 millimeter on the D3100 comes out to be a 75 millimeter focal length because of the crop sensor. So just a heads up. And here I had rows right here too, just because I can get that foreground and the background with the flower. Looks very nice. So that way you can kind of show the depth of the portraits here. Here we're just moving around, just making sure this is just gonna be a close up shot. And I do really love the 50 millimeter 1.8 G because you can still be close, but far enough from the model and you can kind of direct how they are posed. And I still love shooting around these leaves because it's just showing like the foreground model and the bokeh of the background. And the 50 millimeter 1.8 G is amazing for that. So now I have the 85 millimeter 1.8 G on the D3100. Just a heads up, on the D3100, the focal length actually becomes a 127.5 millimeter focal length because of the crop sensor on the D3100. But it's such an amazing lens. It's super creamy in the bokeh. And this one right here, as you can see, before and after, it's very subtle edits. And Rose is just killing these poses right now. And I'm just telling her to go back pretty far because with the 85 millimeter 1.8 G, the model does have to be pretty far to get a full a full shot. As you can see here, she's walking closer to me, and it, we slowly come back to getting cutting her feet off. So just be careful about that too. But as you can see, she's coming towards me, and now we just get a medium frame shot of Rose because, as I said again, this is an 85 millimeter on the D3100, so you do have to have some space. And here I'm just showcasing you the D3100's AF performance. And as you can see, I did miss focus on one image. There was maybe one or two that I did miss focus on the face, but then again, for D3100, it's not bad. I'm serious, it's actually super surprising. 
So those are just the settings that uh, I would prefer to shoot with, especially if you're doing portraits on a day like this. I really hope that helps. If you have any comments or questions, comment below and let me know what you think. And I'll have links on where you can purchase these lenses as well. And I want to say major thanks to Rose for coming along. Hey guys, my name is Rose. Uh, feel free to follow me on my Instagram. And thank you Kung, for having me today. Give Rose a follow. I'll have her description on where you can follow her below as well. And again, I really hope this video helped you with your portrait photography with the Nikon D3100. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll try my best to help. I really appreciate everyone watching. If you really like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks everyone. So while I was editing this video, I felt like this is probably a good time to say that this is just how I photograph. There isn't really a best way to take photos because it just really depends on your style of photography. If anything, in this video, it's just a good guideline with the D3100 because there are so many factors during a shoot, like lighting and shadow and how much light you had to work with. So as you have watched, notice that I wasn't shooting in direct sunlight. I always had the model in a shaded area and also had help from the clouds and or the building's shadows to really balance the lighting on the model. So again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate everyone subscribing and watching this video and liking my videos. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and I'll try my best to help. Thanks.